Hey, what's going on everybody? I've been out in my garage doing a little bit of work on the Mustang today. And I haven't really recorded anything I'm doing because I've been doing prototyping stuff for the control arms. So I finally got around to that. Now, the reason why I haven't been recording doing the prototyping stuff is because it takes a lot of my focus. Now, when I'm recording a video, for example, building that handbrake, the last time I built a handbrake, it took me like two hours to do because I could just, I knew what I had to do, go through, thrash through it real quick. Building that one took me like six hours just because of setting up a camera and, you know, moving positions, trying to position the camera in a decent spot. It, it just takes up a lot of time. And when I'm doing stuff like this, like I need to be 100% focused on it just to like try to get measurements and stuff like that and make sure it's done correctly. Now, I'll give you a little glimpse of what I'm working on. Now, before I show you this, just, uh, just know that it's prototype stuff. So I basically took any scrap I had laying around in my garage, spare heim joints, like none of the stuff fits. For example, on the A-arm, I got a heim joint where like a solid rod end needs to be. And I'm just trying to get measurements, get length so I can actually get the correct stuff for it. But as you can see, it's a uh, very similar style to the GTO. So it's a single lower arm with a independent radius rod, which that right there, this one will not be a spherical bearing because with a spherical bearing there, this will rock, which you, you definitely don't want to have happen. But I do put solid rod ends there. Now, the reason why I'm building it two piece like that, whereas you'll see a lot of people do control arm kits and they make them all one piece. Now, I like doing two piece personally because it allows you to adjust the caster. Now, you can put adjustable rod ends and stuff like that in a one piece but when you have different planes of pickup on the geometry of the suspension if you're going to say for example pull the control arm this way this plane is also going to want to move that way with the control arm and it can't really do that without binding up unless you reshim the spacing in between the pickup where the actual control arm bolts on easy solution around that is you just make it two independent pieces and then you just adjust the heim joint you can dial caster in you can extend the radius rod and extend the control arm at the same time, and that'll give you more camber while leaving the caster right where it is or vice versa. So it allows for a lot more adjustment and fine tuning to dial it in. You're not stuck and set with one specific alignment on the control arm setup. So that's why I like doing that. But I'm gonna keep thrashing on that and move forward with it. Uh, another thing that I did get done today, which I didn't even bother setting up the camera for because it wouldn't, it would have made a shit video anyways because it was so fast to do it. But I got the, uh, the the juice boxes mounted in. So I got the juice boxes there. Those are actually for the uh, the brake fluid for the pedal assembly. But figured you guys probably already knew that. I ran the hoses through the firewall too. Put some grommets in there so the hoses don't get cut. And then the only other thing that I've gotten done is my lazy ass finally got around to building a plug for the firewall here and that bearing is completely uh that bearing is completely bolted in there now so that's all set so i put a little bit of seam sealer around where the patch panels went in and sprayed that corner already just because once i welded that bracket on i wasn't going to be able to get back there and spray it and i didn't want it to be just like exposed metal and potentially rust and whatnot so sprayed that other side and just ran the lines through and stuff like that but just wanted to give you guys a quick update video um don't know anything else i'm going to be working on this for a while but i'm going to try and find something to do with it it's just that financially i got to put this car on hold for a little bit because like i said in the last video if you didn't see that drift season is right around the corner and the gto needs some serious love like end of the year i bent both my control arms bent the subframe so all that stuff needs to be replaced and gto shit is not cheap believe it or not that's why i make my own shit anyways gonna be putting some money into that car i gotta rebuild the engine on it too just because we gave that thing hell at the last round turned the boost up to fuck you mode and blew the engine up but points on the board <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to be it for now. I'll uh, be sure to keep you guys updated if I get work done. I'll do little uh, quick update videos like this. That'll only be like maybe three, four minutes long of just me bullshitting and yapping about what the hell I've been doing to the car. So, 
Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, I got a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of cool shit coming up soon. I'm gonna head down to Columbus uh, to Tuner Tools. That's where the GTO is. That's my team, Tuner Tools. So you can check those guys out. They got a lot of really cool shit going on. Awesome tuning facility also. But I'm gonna be heading down there in a couple weeks to start working on that. So subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. I don't give a shit. And I'll catch you guys later.